All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action in the featherweight division. Fighting out of the red corner with the black trunks with the blue trim, weighing in at 123 pounds. Representing Team Thunder. So far, no wins, but one loss from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Luis Bravo. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the eyeballs. Weighing in at 125 pounds, representing Renzo Gracie Academy in his debut bout from New York City, Juan Mucho Macho Cortez. All right, guys, you got over the rules in the dressing room. I expect you to follow them. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Protect yourself mm -hmm. at all times. Listen to my instruction all the time. The event was stop and go to neutral corner. Touch gloves now. Come out fighting. Hey. Round one, Juan Cortez versus Luis Bravo in featherweight action. These are some small fighters that are gonna have some big hits for us. Yeah, 125 pounds. Juan Cortez making his debut, definitely in front of his home crowd, came out to a big pop. Luis Bravo coming in from Puerto Rico for this affair. Juan's having a little trouble finding his footing on his kicks. Yeah, it's the second time he slipped. Luis needs to just keep long. He's a little taller. He needs to keep that jab going. Keep him in good distance. Juan keeps going to that low kick. He's tearing Luis Bravo's front leg up. There he goes, putting that jab. I like that. The key will be for Cortez. Can he keep this pace up the whole fight? I would say yes. I mean, they're, they're, they're little guys, and they are both train hard. You know, and I, you know coming uh, Cortez training with Joe Sampieri, Mike McKee, and Jamie Crowder, you know, they're, they're all accomplished fighters in themselves, so they know how to train. They push the pace at their camp. Luis Bravo, light on his feet, keeping them hands going. Keeps that going, keeps stifling the shorter fighter. Good first round for both fighters. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Cortez on that for being a little bit more active in the beginning and middle end of the round. Got the dance off. Cortez all business. Bravo, happy to be here. Let's see what happens this round. Good right hand from Bravo. Bravo's got very long punches. If he could start getting them going a little bit more, he'd back Cortez off on some of those kicks yeah. he's landing. Once again, Cortez just keeps going to that right low kick. Working inside and outside of the lead leg of Bravo. That yeah. takes the snap off a lot of Bravo's punches. He can't put weight on the front leg. He's not going to be able to throw that cross. And you see Cortez... His shin's cut open, he's split open, so let's see how much more, if he recognizes it, how many more of those kicks he's throwing. Both fighters doing good knee work. Cortez hitting a little bit more on the knee. Cortez just not stopping, just a machine coming forward. Cortez a little bit tired now. You see him take a big deep breath when he got up off that dump. It is his first fight, so yeah. you know he's got his hometown. There's a lot of energy in the room. 
Yeah, you got the adrenaline when you first come out, but eventually that evaporates. Nice low kick again. He's very consistent from Cortez. Bravo is using his reach. Bravo's doing a great job at staying long. I would stay away from the clinch vibes, Bravo. Keep using that jab. Keep using the long kicks that he was using. Bravo hit a couple knees. That's the distance Bravo should just stay at. Here we go, final round of action. Juan Cortez from New York City, Luis Bravo from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm Brian Wright, staying here with Aaron Fisher, calling the action. Cortez just staying on that low kick and pressing forward. The crowd clearly behind Cortez. Yeah. Channing, let's go on. Just staying on an effective kicking game. Good slipping, you know, not over slipping, just moving enough to set that counter up. Man, Cortez, he's biting down on that mouthpiece and throwing hard. Bravo's almost too relaxed here. I, I would think he'd have a sense of urgency being the last round. Yeah, maybe he believes he's good after two rounds and he's going to take it easy this round, but I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that style of fighting. Um, Cortez really, really bringing it to Bravo this round. And a nice dump. So far, this is all Cortez this round. Cortez really working those kicks. Just staying on those kicks. This is definitely punches versus kicks. Yeah. But Cortez is landing you know, two kicks to every punch Bravo's throwing. Nice inside again. Really scored with that left hook. Well, we know who the crowd's behind. <laughs> After three rounds of action, we have our winner by unanimous decision. And apparently he's from a place called Sexico. Juan Mucho Macho Cortez!